Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome back. You know, doing what we do best. You know what I'm saying? Today we decided that we're going to do a little Asian style stir fry vegetables. You know what I'm saying? With some tofu. You know what I'm saying? Prep it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Vegan oriented style as well. A little bit of gluten going to be in there from the soy sauce. And that's about it. But very enjoyable. Easy, quick pickup. You know what I'm saying? VIP style. Check my ingredients out. This is my ingredients that we're going to use tonight. I got some zucchini from the farm. Got some onions. I got carrots. You know what I'm saying? That's needed. I got a little bit of scallion. I got peppers assorted red and yellow. I got some mixed vegetable right here. If you guys notice that. You know what I'm saying? I got napo cabbage. Well, if you don't have napo cabbage, you can use a regular cabbage, but napo. It's kind of quicker and easier to cook, so that's why I'm using that inside of it. And I got tofu here, the firm tofu. Okay? I got soy sauce, sesame oil, sweet chili, and I got garlic chili sauce right here. So I'm going to combine all of these together. This is Thai, you know what I'm saying? Japan, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of everything, Chinese, everything. Just influencing each other so what i'm going to do now i'm going to make a marinade for the tofu okay so we're going to use a little bit of soy in the bowl okay and don't forget your soy is salty as well so try not to put too much soy in there you know what i'm saying a little bit of oil and this oil is avocado oil it's very good for you as well you know what i'm saying organic avocado oil very very good for you. you know, can't go wrong. I'm gonna put a tap of this sesame oil in, in here as well because I'm gonna be cooking the vegetable with some of this sesame oil as well. So just a tap. You know, sesame oil is very like strong, so make sure you don't put too much of it in there. So what I'm gonna do with this now, I'm gonna cut them up. And I say, don't forget you, you need a firm tofu, okay? And I'm going to try to sear them off by themselves before I put them into the, the veggies so it kind of get a little bit firmer than normal. Okay? So, you can see that right there. I'm just going to marinate this up. Let it sit for like 20-15 minutes. And then take it from there. When we come back, we're going to get into preparation. See you in a minute. So, yes. Alright. So, now we're going to get into cutting the vegetables. I think this is too much onion, so... I'm going to use a smaller piece. And you can do whatever you want to do with them. You can dice them julienne them, but I'm a julienne beef. And I kind of cut them a little bit bigger than normal. You know? And right in, in the pot right here, I got um, some avocado oil. So it's ready to go. And this, I'm cutting these a little bit. That's a little bit bigger than normal. You know, so you can get that bite and the crunch of it. Not too small, you know? That this I'm not gonna put in it, it's gonna go in with the knuckle cabbage, okay? I don't think I need all this pepper, I'm just gonna use a bit of it because. cut them into any style you want to cut them in and what I do I take out like the, the soft part of the, the zucchini so it's much easier to work with like that you know the scallion cut this in two again yeah it's it's really easy to do it as long as you got the the flavor and all that, you know, one of these days we're going to do a vegetable chop stew. You know what I'm saying? My style, my way. A little bit different from what we're doing right here. So sesame oil. Uh, it's very strong, so I'm going to put like a 
tablespoon in here. You know, you don't need more than that in there. So start a little bit salt and pepper as well. Just a bit, you know. You don't want to put too much because you're going to put some nice sesame oil in there. You know, let's go ahead and put the rest of this in there. No need to save this. Really good. show you how I'm going to cut the napo so you can have an understanding of how I want it to be cut because the napo you don't want to cut it too small because it cooks so very easily you want to cut it a little bit big you know so like that see that not too small because it cooks very easily so try to cut it a little bit bigger than normal and it's going to be the last thing to go inside of there it takes probably like five minutes to cook you even can eat it raw you know, just like when you eat coleslaw. Kind of the same kind of cabbage, but just a little bit more sauce. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we use this kind of cabbage to make chicken salad and all of that. So, what we're going to do you now, we're going to go over to the fire and get stuff going. All right? And um, as I told you, that's the marinated tofu right here. And if you have some Japanese pie spice, you could put a little bit in here. I don't have some, so I didn't put it in here, but anything... Flavor it up and make it nice and taste good. Go ahead and do it. So, all right, when we come back, we're gonna get into the stove. Start getting stuff over there going, all right? So yeah, all right. I got it going now. Flames and I. So I'm just gonna saute it off this a bit. I don't wanna cook it too much as well. And let's get it going. And then they're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get this stuff going because we're gonna steer the tofu over here. And then we'll steer off the tofu and just pop right over here. So a little bit of grapeseed oil. Burn better anyway, so we're gonna steer off the tofu right in here. And because the tofu have a little bit of soy in there, it's gonna you know prop a bit, so you have to be careful, you know, when you're searing it off. So what I normally do in that case, I start cold in the pot, you know what I'm saying? I put it in the pot cold, so all the water can, you know, evaporate, and you know, it does not uh, start splashing. By the time all the water evaporate, then we start sear, then you know, we take it from there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, all right, when we come back, we're going to get into, get the tofu of the color, and get everything of the par, and then we're going to start with the finishing touch on these things, okay? Yep. All right, yeah, this is what we about right here. You know? I don't got a wok, so I'm just working with this. Tofu over here, you know, cooking nice, you know. As I told you before, I started. Not hot enough, so the liquid inside of it doesn't start dropping all over the place when you pour it in the hot pot. So you want to get that, you know what I'm saying? Down as well, too. This is real good. I haven't made this in a while, you know. I want to big up snort, uh, snort my Thai chef on this one. See that? Getting the brown on the tofu already. Yeah. Ooh, slowly but sure. All of it going to come together, you know. Lose all the water over it, get the brown in us on it. Make it all nice. Just going to flip it back and forth until it's ready, you know. Ooh. And then the thing comes together with a Cook everything together. That look good. What we're going to do now, so this veg is a bit frozen, so we're going to put this veg in there now. Alright? Yeah, well, it look good. So far, so good. You know? It's real easy, it's not hard to do. You just have to have the timing on it and make sure everything is on point. You know? See that? Yep, tofu going. Real easy, real easy. Huh? All right, so when we come back, we're gonna get into the next segment of adding the, the zucchini. Then we're gonna go into start building everything together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real easy. Uh 
All right, time for zucchini. And then take a look at the tofu. That's what you're looking for, the tofu. You know, sear nicely, golden brown, not too burning. You know what I'm saying? Normally, if it didn't sear the right way, and you flip it like that, they start breaking too. That's perfect, right there. Yeah. Fold these in. Then I'm gonna start add everything together. We'll put everything together right now. You know? Turn the fire up on the tofu. Ready? So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna add a little bit of soy in here. Okay. Sweet chili sauce, maple, you know. And this is very sugary. So the moment you put this in there, it's gonna start burning, okay? So all you wanna do, turn the fire down. Almost low, but not low, okay? And just let it simmer. And it'll stay there and simmer down. So we won't put just a bit of this in there because this is very spicy. You wanna put too much of this in there, so you're not gonna be able to eat it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're Jamaican, you know, you're going to be able to manage the spice. So yeah, that looks good, that smells good. So when we come back, we're going to add the napo cabbage, and then we're going to fold in the tofu with a little bit of this, and this ready. When I say easy, quick and easy, quick and easy, ready to go. It doesn't take long, you know what I'm saying? Real quick, real easy, that's how it works. So, all right, yes, this is what we're going to do now. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Just this amount is good, okay? Do not put more than that. Half a teaspoon, okay? You don't know what spice you can tolerate, so try to do what I do. Let's make sure. So, all right, we're back at it again. So, I told you five minutes, it's ready. Don't want it to cook too much as well. I want to cook the right way, you know? So now we're gonna fold in everything. You remember when we started, it was like full, looked like a lot of cabbage, but now it looked like the right amount. So that's it right there. You know what I say? Asian style stir fry veggies. Mm -hmm. With tofu. Folding everything in the sauce kind of go over here, you know? You can't go wrong with that, trust me. Really quick, real easy. Easy to prep, you know? Yeah. All right, when we come back, I'm going to set up a plate, take up the pictures. And I'm going to say, don't forget, we need those comments, we need those likes. You know what I'm saying? Need you guys to send me out in the world, all right? It's one love, peace. So, all right, yes. What we're talking about, so we'll make a plate right here. A little bit of everything in there. You can see those carrots still firm, that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Make sure some of the tofu is in here as well. Get some of the mixed vegetables from the bottom. Put a couple pieces of tofu on top. Yep. Yeah. So I say simple, easy, age and stir fry vegetable. And what I'm gonna do for mine, because I'm gonna eat this one, I'm not gonna put a little bit more of the chili sauce on mine on the top. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. VIP style. You know, give thanks to you guys tuning in to the channel. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, Sally is doing good so far, slowly but surely. You know, we're going to take our time because anything come too quick is not good. Don't forget, leave a comment, you know what I'm saying? Give me some likes. You know, tell a friend to tell a friend. We appreciate you. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Get it going. You know, appreciate everything that you guys do. Respect. Manas.
Chop, chop. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Peace.